Hello and welcome to Let's Play 2 2016. This is 2K here with Swarly. How's it going, Swarly? Pretty, pretty good. We're going to book some Monday Night Raw. And as always, I will distance myself from Raw and say, you're going to book Monday Night Raw. <laughs> we are going to as a team. I will just be here. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. Roman Reigns brighten the backstage area by being so cheerful and fun. When is someone on your show going to fail a steroid test? <laughs> Why does that only happen to SmackDown? I'm just saying our show is the show of happy fun people. Collusion. That's what I'm saying. And Vince McMahon, who sees a failed drug yeah. test and just goes, this is not happen, god damn it. Oh shit, Roman <laughs> failed his drug test. Would you with Orton? <laughs> yeah, that's... uh. <laughs> that's what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Alrighty. So, we are starting off Monday Night Raw with a limousine arriving. Oh, this is a, this is a good old-fashioned attitude era Monday Night Raw. I like this. Limo pulls up, but who is inside? This is very 1990s. I like this. Everyone thinks it's Vince McMahon. The commentators are like, this is something Vince used to do. He showed up in limos. He likes limos. Yeah, everyone else on the roster is poor, so it must be Vince. Yeah. Uh, we then cut to the ring where Paul Heyman is already in the ring. And he and the big dog have another chat because at the end of last Monday Night Raw, Roman Reigns punched Paul Heyman in the face. And Roman says that it was an accident, but it felt so good that he'll do it again. And he goes to set up to do a Superman punch. Heyman's like, instead of leaving, Heyman's just kind of no, don't. Please. <laughs> have a family. And See, then, in real life, in real life, this would be one of those weeks that Brock is actually there, but we can't even do that. And then the music of Vince McMahon starts playing. And he comes out, again, Mr. McMahon, every fucking time. <laughs> And he cuts a promo on Roman telling him that if he punches any more non-wrestlers, he won't make it to WrestleMania because he'll be fired. Oh, my God. Not the big dog. So Roman tells Vince to get him a wrestler so he can punch someone he could actually punch. And he'll just have to imagine it's Paul Heyman. And Vince says what, he will. What wrestler would be the best stand-in for Paul Heyman? Blue Meanie. That was good. That was real real off the cuff. That was good. Well, just wait until you see that I've hired him for a one-week <laughs> contract. <laughs> he might be a local talent. I don't know. Where's this show? Uh, Kentucky. Uh, he's probably not a local talent. I'm a look. Alex Kozlov, would he be a good? No, not at all. How about D'Lo Brown? Yeah, if he's letting himself go enough. Oh, it's Vader Jr. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Oh, haven't thought about Vader Jr. And real Vader. <laughs> Ooh. There's your there's your Paul Heyman stand in. There he is. Yeah. Sadly. <laughs> Sadly no. Yeah. So we then go we get a match. It is a one-on-one -on -one affair with Bully Ray facing off against our eh. truth. Oh, I thought the I thought this was the Roman match. No, okay. Bully as a stand-in for Heyman. Yeah. That'd be good too. Yeah, but Bully beats our truth. What a what a match. He then gets a mic. 
Do you know who he is, Nick? And he he's like, Vince, do you know who I am? I'm the next general manager of Monday Night Raw. So Bully Ray also wants to be GM. I mean, he's at that point of his career where people, you know, people like to move into the backstage uh, roles. Yep. And I hear he, he is very aware of um, how to make money in wrestling. Yes. So Very, think, very aware. Yes. I mean, he's make him an agent. He can put all his matches together. He knows all about psychology and selling and staying in the ring. The, <laughs> staying the in the Ray. ring is the most important piece. Yeah, the Bully yeah. Ray three uh, steps to success for a good match. We're then going to have another match where Phoenix and Kalisto are going to take on... I'm going to actually do this. American Alpha. A face versus face match. Yeah. But I haven't used American Alpha in a while. Kalisto gets the win. But after the match, what's this? It's Finn Balor and... Kenny Omega coming out to attack Kalisto and Phoenix. But why? Why? Why indeed? <laughs> These are the questions. <laughs> no reason is given. Cut to commercial. So we come back. And the limo is still there. You mean it wasn't Vince? So they, they're like, wait, but Vince already came out. Maybe he went back in the limo. <laughs> it's Yeah, he, he's there. It's just idling in the parking lot for him. Um... We are then going to the ring for a women's contest. Woo! It is a 3v3 contest with Asuka, Nikki Bella, and Sasha Banks taking on Alexa Bliss. Taking on the other three women in the division. <laughs> And we get eight minutes here. And Charlotte gets the win. And pins the champ. With a shitty spear. Is Asuka the champ? Asuka's the champ. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> we've we've been through this before. I just wanted <laughs> to be positive. It's fair. You make yeah. a fair, fair argument. It's a good question. <laughs> all right. Look at all those main eventers you haven't used yet. Mm -hmm. Backstage, Vince McMahon is uh, in his office. And in comes Chris Jericho. And... He's got Dolph Ziggler with him. The new best friends. Yep. And Chris Jericho says, Hey, Vince, uh, me and you, we go way back. We're good friends. Best of friends. And I want to do you a favor. I'm going to help book your main event. So you need someone to fight Roman? I got someone to fight Roman. Dolph Ziggler. And Dolph's like, wait, what? And Vince books the match. I love it. Yep. So Jericho forces Ziggler to match with Roman. You know what my favorite part about that match is? 
The part where the big dog's in it. Ah, <laughs> uh, Vince, we're on camera. I don't care, goddammit. <laughs> Let the people know. They love the big dog, too. Or the Roman Empire, whichever nickname they prefer. The Juggernaut, Roman Reigns. <laughs> I forgot about the Juggernaut. <sighs> Maybe if they would just pick one and go with it. Maybe that's maybe that's the problem with Roman Reigns. Too many nicknames. Yep, that's the problem. That's the problem. That's it. I really like the big dog though. I would, I just wish someone else used it. That would that would do more with it. I don't. I'm sorry. It's not a good nickname. What if like Titus O'Neil was the big dog? That would be a good mid card nickname. Yeah, right. It's being wasted on Roman. He could come out, do his barking thing. He could start wearing a singlet with, like, a dog on it. Like, it'd be great. I am not sure that I agree with your assessment of great. It'd be, it'd be a lot better than <laughs> yes. Titus O'Neil in its current state. <laughs> well, I was going on my big dog rant. You stealthily booked Ricochet and Bray Wyatt as the world's strangest tag team. I was hoping... Oh, I may have booked them together before. You don't oh, think watch. Seth and Sheamus is as weird? No. As Ricochet and Bray Wyatt? Yeah, that's much weirder. But, like, Bray Wyatt can do his little crab walk and then Ricochet, like, does a flip off of his tongue. <laughs> All right. I mean, they could do that, but they probably won't. No. Especially since Bray's taking the loss. Seamus and Seth makes a lot of sense. Seamus can say shitty things, and then Seth can go, That's right! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why that got me, but... Just the idea of, like, Seth being, like, like out of shot, and then he just kind of leans in and goes, Hey, 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 then goes back out of shot. <laughs> All right. Here, here we go. Um... Ric Flair. Enters... Did you have a Did you have a plan for who was in the limo? <laughs> Ric Flair enters. Yes, I do actually. Okay. Enters Vince McMahon's office. All right. And he just woo. I want to be the woo next general manager. Woo of Monday night. Woo. And then Vince thinks about it seriously, and he's like, "Well, he is a sixteen-time champion." And then Flair shits himself, and Vince is like, "Get out of here." No, he's like, no, <laughs> never. I would never let you be the run my show. No, you you ran Raw once before and it sucked. Yeah, like just like you stole half my comp. Like he just starts bringing up shit that nobody remembers, except me apparently. And Rick's just like, oh, whoa, okay, sorry, that was like two wives ago. I can't even like I barely remember that. Hey, while I have you here, woo! Who's in the limo? And Vince is like, oh, we're going to have a beast here tonight. And the camera pans out to Roman Reigns, who was in the hallway listening. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, this is, this is like something out of, like, Full House. <laughs> <laughs> and Roman looks like, oh. This is some like '90s sitcom stuff here. I just wanted to go all of the '90s, the the yeah. sitcom, everything. Yeah. All right, I do need a match here, and this I don't have a plan for. Rusev needs to do something. Miz needs to do something. They've only fought 16 times. Ooh. But what if? What if it was a triple threat? There was an OP. Uso. <laughs> Guys, okay. what if this match had an Uso in it? <laughs> and the Miz pinned the Uso. Well, that seems like a... Why is Rusev even here? So he could kick Ru Miz after the match for stealing a win? Like, I thought oh, you were... never mind. Yeah. yeah. Rusev's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, like, I'm also furious in this match. What are you doing? I'm trying to get Miz wins. 
You spent like the entire save pushing Rusev as your main event guy, and you're like, ah, eh, lose a triple threat to the Miz. He's not losing. He's just no. not winning. He's not winning. Yeah, and he's exactly. Losing. So we agree that he's losing then. No, he's just not winning. Yeah, not winning means losing. Nah, it just means that he's not winning. Oh, okay, Vince. Guess what? What? Roman chases after the limousine. But the limousine speeds away. Chase that limo just like a big dog chases the mail truck. Roman's going to get a car <laughs> to chase after it. Oh, boy. And Vince comes up and is like, you're in the main event, God damn it! you can't leave. If you leave, you're fired. So there you go. No script. Nah, he's fine. Oh, okay. Then we get our match. Roman and Dolph. Roman wins. What? Even though there was interference by Chris Jericho. You mean to tell me the big dog gonna overcome the odds? And a distraction from Brock Lesnar's music. My word. <laughs> Half tempted to put a distraction from Dean Ambrose's music as well. Just to bring <laughs> that bit back. <laughs> and then afterwards... Roman loses his cool. And he beats the shit out of Chris Jericho. Oh, no. Newly babyface Chris Jericho. Sounds like Roman's gonna get make the list. The list, sadly, Which, does not exist. I was gonna say, a bit that does not exist in our world. Uh, our world is a sad shell of a world. <laughs> Speak for yourself. That said, like, our world has better world champs, and Finn is still wrestling, so. Yay, what a show. Speaking of Finn wrestling, he showed up in one segment. Woo! He is the champ. <laughs> this, is very this is very much a uh, Vince McMahon show. Yep. Eh, we'll do a pre-show three on three. Yeah, now you're booking. Uh, Jack Swagger, Enzo, Cass, um, Heath Slater, Connor, and Victor. Social Our Out S. Or Social Wasteland, sorry. Versus Enzo, Big Cass, and Big Jack. Enzo and Cass are your tag champs, right? Yep. Okay. Don't worry, they're going over. I just, I forgot. Let me double check. I'm pretty, pretty damn sure. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Ready for this B minus? Oh, are you kidding me with the amount of Vince on this show? It's like an A. And Roman. Yeah, game's gonna love this. All I right. mean, this not so much, because there's no Vince or Roman. Yeah, and Heath. There's Heath. Yeah. And the Ascension. Oh, well, that didn't do so hot. Huh. Oh. Oh, here we go. Here we Big go. dog. Big dog and Heyman. Big Dog wants to punch a defenseless man. 
<laughs> yep, he's the face. Vince McMahon, the heel, comes out and tells him that he can't punch defenseless men. Boo. <laughs> boo, old man McMahon. Boo. Aw. TNA main event circa 2008 here. Huh. Not terrible. Oh, that was much worse than I thought it was going to be. I mean, you haven't you haven't done anything with any of these people. Oh, Phoenix almost injured oh, him with a box no. move. Phoenix, what are you doing? Jamie Noble looks like he's petrified to tell me this news. Yeah. Well, he's used to telling Vince these kinds of things. <laughs> yeah. Phoenix almost killed someone. Please don't kill him or me. That's not quite good either. Uh oh, good lucha things might not be. They might not be ready. The limo is gaining steam. <laughs> well, yeah, now that you've shown it a second time, now you've piqued people's interest. Like, it's still there? Oh. What's what's in the limo? Who could we'll never find out the... this week. I guess we'll have to tune in next time. People love Jericho and Vince talking. Mm -hmm. And they... And they don't really care for Chris, uh, Dolph Ziggler, but he wasn't rated, so it's okay. Yep. I mean, he said one thing. Um, yeah, it, there's that. This is a thing that happened. Seth. Why did this happen? I had a bunch of main adventures that I hadn't used. Oh, okay. Wow, Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> Still got it, baby! Woo! <laughs> Ric Flair might be a, Ric Flair might actually win this job. That was it. <laughs> this is a shoot competition to see who the GM's gonna be. Yeah, Rusev. Good job. So Roman Reigns going after Brock Lesnar in his limo. Gets a B plus. Mm hmm. Vince telling Roman you can't go in a high speed chase you have to go wrestle gets a B plus as well that should get like an F like no we want the high speed <laughs> chase I want another Roman Dolph match or a low speed chase oh but they yeah. like this this Roman yeah, Dolph they, match they enjoyed it yeah there were a bunch of Dolph false finishes so they were like ah oh, Dolph might win Dolph's not winning guys Oh, no, and Roman beating the shit out of Chris Jericho gets an A. Hoo-ah. hoo indeed. A B-plus for that you. show. Yep. I told you. You did. Stone Cold Roman Reigns. You just got to fucking put him in every segment. You'll get that B-plus every time. Yep. All right. Well, next show is yours. Oh, oh. So we'll see you on SmackDown. Bye.